Oh my gosh. The time is finally here. MLB The Show 19 has released just a half an hour ago. Can't say I haven't been having some issues, but we're just going to open up the pre-order packs. I did get the digital deluxe edition of the game, and that comes with 40 standard packs, a Ball is a Habit pack, a gold live series player choice pack, a prestige gear up choice pack, so I don't, I don't really know what that is, but we'll figure it out. The choose one of 30 diamond players that we all know about and a classic stadium pack. I'm gonna start off with the Gold Live Series Player Choice Pack. Now, one last thing before I get into this. I did do the, um, I did get the loyalty rewards from playing last year. I'll flash that up on the screen. Got Shohei Otani, that's pretty cool, except for he's not a pitcher this year. I don't think, uh, I think he's only a, a hitter, so he doesn't have that two-way capability like he did last year that made him so dangerous. But it's still pretty cool to have Shohei Otani on the team. Still one of the, the most talked about players in the MLB. Hopefully he can get healthy so that he can come back at full strength next year. But he still should be hitting this year. But anyway, I'm going to go right ahead and open up my first pack of MLB The Show 19. And it is a gold player choice pack. We've got five players to choose from in this pack. And we choose we get to choose one of them to start up the team and this is actually a, not a bad pack there are a couple of very good options here first thing that jumps out at me both actually both these guys both Luis Severino and Carlos Correa are not diamonds anymore Carlos Correa all the way down to a 92 and Severino down to a or did I say 92 I meant Carlos Correa all, all the way down to an 82 and Severino all the way down to an 83. So those guys are no longer diamonds. A guy like Mitch Haneker could get a pretty big upgrade this year. He's been playing pretty well the last couple years. If he keeps on that track, you never know. He could be a diamond later this year. Charlie Blackman, same thing. He, he got the downgrade last year. He is no good in the field. I know they retooled the, uh, the fielding attributes, and, and he's not as good in the field. I think hmm, I think the player I'm going to go with huh do I go with Correa or Mitch I think I'm going to go with Mitch Haniger they're very similar at the plate Correa has a little bit more contact and I guess a little bit more power but Haniger has the same amount of speed a lot better arm strength ah, I don't know actually maybe I do want Correa you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and make my selection of Carlos Correa from this gold gold player choice pack. And I'll go ahead and add him to the lineup because that's a new feature. You can quick add him to the lineup. And there we go. He is in my lineup. I think I'm going to go ahead and get these, these two out of the way here. The gear up thing and the stadium. Then I'll rip open... The standard packs, the choice pack, and I'll end it with the ball as a habit. So classic stadiums. I think this is a choice pack. We don't get all of them yet. Choose one. I, I'm honestly a fan of the look of the old Miami stadiums, or the old Miami stadium in last year's game. It was, uh, I think it was their football field is what they played on. And I don't know, I just thought it looked cool. So I'm probably going to go with that one. Not, not too big of a deal. Not really going to be playing there anyway because we got good old Green Valley Stadium to be our home field. This is the Gear Up Choice Pack. We got some silvers here. Oh, we get to choose four out of five of them. I think the only one I'm not going to choose then is the... Uh... Wait. Hang on. Oh no, we don't get to choose four. We get to choose one this round, but there's four rounds. Misread that. I think I'm going to go with this cleat then. It gives the most speed. There's really not much else that matters besides speed on your created player that comes with this. I mean, five contact there, but it's not too huge. Seven speed though, that, that's a difference maker. 
onto this. We could go with the cleat again, but then it kind of, you know, defeat the old purpose a little bit. I think I'm going to go with the batting glove. Gives us some good contact power and a big vision upgrade for our creative player. Stadium sounds. Do we get to uh, preview the sound? I don't think we do. That'd be that'd be pretty useful. I don't know what Vuvuzela is. So we're gonna we're gonna go with Ole. Don't know what Ole sounds like, but I'm assuming it's you know it might just be like a I don't even know I don't even want to speculate. The hot dog I feel like that's gonna be the uh, the most popular one. That's kind of cool though that these bat skins give the um the power and contact upgrades almost like the bats themselves i'm i'm guessing the hot dog is going to be probably the most picked but i actually really like this diamond diamond one it looks like diamond studded barrel so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and pick that one so there we go for our uh our gear up choice pack we're gonna go into these standard packs next and i actually think i'm gonna finish up with the choose the choice pack so we can end with a diamond for sure. So first standard pack of the year. That was a cool animation. I appreciate that. And it looks like this year they changed it. Kind of uh, kind of like how NBA 2K has been. Where you can preview the overalls of the cards before you actually get them. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit flip all since I already previewed the overalls. Nothing in that one. I think I'm... My, me, myself, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, open them one by one without previewing all of the, the... Oh, there it is. There's Green Valley. That's my stadium. Best pull of the day. Yeah, I'm just going to go one by one. I just like doing that. I don't know. For me, for me, the, the whole previewing of the... Uh, ooh, got a gold there. Most valuable kicker. Don't know what that means. Home run celebration? We gotta unlock those this year? I guess they gotta have something to replace souvenirs. Alright, nothing in that one. This might take a while. They're they're not as quick to open as they have been in the past. I guess I might need to put some of these players in my rotation in order to uh to act, be able to activate that um that thing, that event. So I'll just go ahead and, and add these people so that I have a team. <laughs> so that maybe it'll let me in. I don't really care about the team right now. It'll uh I'll definitely upgrade that. But keep them going with these packs. I gotta I gotta remember to be hitting the uh the open button on each card here. I, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a huge fan of the new way to open cards. I know uh, people probably like being able to, to preview the, the what's it called the, the tier, I guess, of their card before you open it. But I don't know. It kind of kind of takes the fun out of it for me. And then opening them up one by one is a little bit slower than it's been. Just because it takes time to register, I guess. You got a universal profile nameplate. That's kind of cool. And those are sellable now. All right. I like that. Because last year, there were some universal nameplates that I never got. Oh, this is different. There's only one bronze in this pack. Usually, you end off with two. But I only got one. So that makes standard packs a little bit worse if you're not guaranteed at least two uh, at least two bronzes 34 packs still to go we got a long way to go here got another gold go crazy folks go crazy and nothing Cody Anderson oh no that's I was thinking of someone else just want 
to have my lineup full. Make sure. Oops, I accidentally backed out. Make sure I have my lineup full, so it lets me uh, lets me do the the game. I'm gonna go ahead and flip all, and then we can just kind of scroll over. I think that's that might be what I'm gonna do. Try and speed this up a little bit. So flip all, scroll over. We got a silver, first silver. I'll take that. No more Mazzara. Don't really know if he can play center, but uh, we'll put him there for now. First silver of the day. Wow, I feel so great. Another silver. There he is, Marco Gonzalez. Silvers are just flying off the shelves, man. This is crazy, crazy pack opening. Can you believe it? Oh, here. I accidentally pressed square. And the odds came up. I didn't even think about looking at that. So, I guess we're guaranteed... A bronze player in every pack only one not two so it's one one out of one guaranteed bronze player and then every five packs I mean obviously it's not guaranteed after this point where it's one to five but the odds are every five packs you'll get a silver and every 25 packs you'll get a gold and every hundred packs you'll get a diamond that's interesting. I feel like the odds would have probably been worse in the past to get diamonds, but it should be interesting to see if more diamonds are pulled this year with uh, with those odds. We've never actually been able to see the odds before, so it's pretty cool to see what what chance we have of of getting a, a good card. Lots of garbage here so far. Lots of garbage. Joe Smith, though, he could be. A decent reliever to have right off the rip. He's deceptive with that with that sidearm motion. People might have some trouble hitting him. I don't know how fast he throws. And Ryan Schimpf. He's still got the pop, but will he be as good as he was last year? Because he can't field, he can't hit for contact. All he's got under his belt is power. I doubt Ryan Shimp's, Shimp's going to be as good as he was last year. And we're still pulling garbage. I'd like to get I'd like to get at least a gold. The victory pie. Oh, that's a ritual. Okay. I was going to say, is that like an animation or something? But that'd be cool. And more bronzes. I would love to not get bronzes. We'll put people on the bench, yeah. Oh, this is this is kind of tedious. Not gonna lie. Just to put people in, in hopes that I can actually get into the uh, thing that I was trying to get into. The moment. Flying through these packs now. We got another silver Pedro Strope from the Chicago Cubs. I think he might have ended last season as a gold, so he's down to the silver and we're halfway done with the packs already 20 to go 20 open and we're still pulling tons of silvers and uh, if if these odds are anything to go by we should be getting a gold anytime now and I don't know if that means I should check again player items so that does mean like an actual player those odds. oh there and there it is <laughs> I was just talking about it. it's got to be coming soon, and there is a gold player, and of course, he's a shortstop, Xander Bogarts. I picked Carlos Correa in my uh, in my other one, and of course, we got Xander Bogarts. But I'll go ahead and put him at third on this screen here. But all right, two golds to start off. I'll take it. Can't complain. I mean, you can, but I won't. Seventeen packs remaining. We got another gold unlockable. Lean back left-handed home run two. I wish you could like preview these once you unlock them just to see what they are right away. I don't think it was the Jose Batista one. I think that's just the default picture for the unlockable itself. Fifteen to go. Already pulled a gold. Big hype. 
Ross Stripling. I can't remember if he ended as a gold last year, but he's down to a 76, almost down to a bronze. And what is this? Oh, is that a sponsorship? Yeah, sponsorship. And another silver, Michael Brantley. He's a silver now. He was a gold last year. Lots of uh, lots of changes to the, to these guys' overalls, and it's not due to them retooling their overall calculator like they have the last couple years. That stayed the same. I think it might just be because of their new fielding criteria. And there's another gold. There's another guy we could have gone with in the choice pack, Luis Severino. We got him anyways. 83 overall. Ace to the bullpen right away. I'll take that. I will take a good starting pitcher, a good ace right off the bat. Two golds already pulled. I, I, I'm beating the odds so far. And back to back to bronzes. Well, there's a silver, Avisa Garcia. He's on a new team this year. I, I think it's, I don't remember what team he's on, to be honest. Another silver. I'll take these silvers at the beginning of the game. I'm sure the, uh, ooh, a diamond, a diamond home run celebration. All right, that's cool. But yeah, like I was saying, I'll take silvers at the beginning of the game because I'm sure the, the first event probably has something to do with building your team with cards that aren't the best. So if I can get some, some solid silvers in these packs, I'll take it. I won't be upset at all. <coughs> Excuse me, only four packs to go. That was a bad pack. 66 overall is our best one. You don't want to. You don't want to see that. You got Greg Bird, Melky Cabrera. I think I still have some spot. Yeah, one last spot here, and then my squad I think is full. Full rotation. Like I said, this doesn't matter. The squad right now because I'm I'm definitely gonna change it. I'm just trying to get it filled up so I can get into the event hopefully. And I think we have a full bullpen, yeah. All right. And one standard pack to go. Those 40, it felt slow, but it also felt fast. I can't believe I'm already done opening up all my packs. And, well, well, there we go. <laughs> I guess, I guess it's anticlimactic. But we have two saving graces here. A guaranteed diamond and a 1 in 15 chance at a diamond. So that's a lot, a lot higher for probability. But uh, that's still still not the best odds of pulling a diamond. But hey, we're, we're here on launch. We're going to get lucky. We're going to pull that diamond. I backed out for good luck, not because it was an accident. We're going in. Balling is a habit pack. And this one, I will preview the overalls. And it's a gold. Football, David Robertson. I'll take him, though. I'll, I'll, I'm fine with David Robertson. He's got a nasty cutter. He'll be good out of the bullpen. And other than that, nothing. So balling is a habit. Did not give me anything in this pack. But we have our saving grace. The 1 of 30 Legend and Flashback Player Choice Pack. Did I say Flashback? I meant to say Flashback. But this, this is the choice. This is it right here. I, I still don't know what to do. We've known who all these players are going to be for like weeks now. Or at least most of them for weeks. And I still have very little clue who I want. I'm thinking Lou Gehrig. I don't think Lou Gehrig's the best one necessarily. But I I do want to use him. He He's a, a new legend. One of the bigger new legends they announced. And I'm excited to use his new card, see how it plays. Lou Gehrig, one of the most famous baseball players of all time, honestly. He uh, he was kind of Babe Ruth's sidekick, but calling him a sidekick would be doing a big injustice. Going through here, I don't, I don't really want to take a starting pitcher. I know some of them are good, but I don't know. I just kind of want to get a guy that I can use every day. Ricky Henderson. Now, this was a guy that I'm also thinking of getting. He's obviously not going to have a ton of power, but he is obviously going to have 
a ton of speed and a ton of stealing. 99 speed, 99 stealing. He's got really good contact, especially against lefties. Even versus righties, it's not bad. He's got 99 vision, so that uh, that PCI is going to be big. Power, not not there. Didn't, didn't expect that to be there. But his fielding is pretty solid, too. Out there in left, obviously, he's going to have good speed. We could put him in center. He doesn't have the worst arm. He's got pretty good fielding. I might go with Ricky Henderson. And that... I don't know. That's not it. I thought maybe we were getting down at the end. Steve Finley. This is the guy that I actually think is the best one. He is very well-rounded. He's got good contact, good power, good vision, good fielding, good speed. You know, everything is, is good. He doesn't really excel necessarily, but he's just, he's just a solid guy. I think, yeah, that's the end. I think I gotta do it though. Not Ricky. I'll 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 have him soon. But I think the guy that I'm gonna go with is the 1925 rookie legend card Lou Gehrig. Now, like I said, I don't think he is the best one, but he is also a very well-rounded card. He's got good contact against righties and then solid versus lefties and pretty solid power. He's got 93 vision, so that PCI is going to be pretty big up there. He's got good enough fielding for first base. 70 fielding should definitely get the job done. And he's got 64 speed, which is pretty high for first base. So that's going to be something pretty good for him. These quirks here, I don't know if they really give him any bonuses, but we'll just check to see. But yeah, Lou Gehrig here. This is who I'm going to go with. Lou Gehrig is going to be my first diamond player on my team and i will be debuting him probably tomorrow or or technically later today because i think this video is going to go up after midnight so lou gehrig debut watch out for that that's going to be coming very soon and we're gonna we're gonna show off how good this new card is but that is it for my packs we we went through 40 plus packs here today opened them all got a couple golds Got a good start to our team, and we got Lou Gehrig as our main man so far. But thank you guys for watching. I think I'm very excited for this game. I hope you are too, and I'm very excited to be putting out videos for this game, and I hope you are too. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.